So before I go into um, my next trip, kind of trip report here, um, I actually wrote down like all the trips that I wanted to talk about on this podcast. And it, I think I have, I think I counted them. There was like 16 more, <laughs> more trips to cover, you know, and obviously some of them I'll, I'll cover like two at a time or, or something like that. But what's been really interesting, um, I don't know if it's the help of the fact that I am recording the podcast or whatnot, but I'm starting to have like a few like flashbacks of memory of the um, of the trips. Uh, I was sitting down with the girlfriend and we were sitting there and we were talking about them and I was remembering trips that I had kind of forgotten or I had kind of put, in, I guess, in the back of my mind. And so, uh, yeah, thanks. Uh, well, I don't know. For some reason, uh, it, might, it might be her. It might just be the fact that I'm talking to her. It might be because I'm, you know, recording this podcast. I'm starting to remember um, some that I kind of let go of, you know, and I'm just, I'm really starting to remember them and vividly too. That's the other thing was like the memory on some of the experiences specifically. There's, there's one thing that happens on a, on a couple of my trips where I'll, I'll start going in this loop. It's like a, it's like a mental loop or something like that. And, um, in it, to my perception, it appears that I'm like jumping through realities or something like that. But um, but really, realistically, I'm like, you know, like knocking out and coming back. And when I come back, it appears that I'm in a different place than I was before. So anyways, it, it's a very common thing. And if you listen to other people's trips reports, um, you know, you'll, you'll hear them going through the same thing. This like this repeating process of time where you get time to start looping on itself. And so whenever I do that, the first one, especially the first set of me like popping into reality is like incredibly like, I don't know, it's like just this amazing, amazing feeling because I, I don't remember anything at all. It's like complete amnesia, you know, it's like I don't even know like who I am or where I am or anything like that. And, and my girlfriend's here, you know, because she, she, she's my trip sitter and I see her and I have to start connecting back like who she is and everything like that. And it's so funny, man. Like she'll, uh, and, and when I do that, when I see her, she, it's like, she's, um, I don't know. I'm, it's just always shocking. I, I want to, there's something specific I'm thinking about, but it's, I'm kind of leaving it off at the moment here. Cause it's one of my later trips to tell you about, but, um, Anyways, the, the looping is, is a really awesome effect that you get on any of the time effects. Those are some of my favorite effects that I get on the, uh, on the mushrooms. The ones where time slows down to a crawl. And that's what I mentioned in my last, um, my last po podcast, you know, that, that um, trip number six, we're calling it. Um, that one was when I first experienced that time stopping you know, and just kind of like you're stuck in time. Yeah, that's in, that's like absolutely incredible. And, um, and that time that was like the big, like, whoa, you know, like that first time that it happened. So anyways, let's get into, um, the next parts. So after, um, after that trip, you know, obviously I knew I wanted to keep going had my B pluses, my golden teachers, my treasure coasts. Um, so I don't know if I mentioned last time what they, what they all, the strains all ended up doing. Eventually I found out kind of the effects that they all have the treasure coast, right? It's, it's a very emotional based mushroom experience and there's not a lot of visuals. You close your eyes, you might get some, um, colors, but not nearly as much as on the other mushrooms. And then B pluses are, the visuals are slightly stronger and there's a little bit of like body, like weird feelings in your body.
And what do I, what do I mean by um, body effects? Um, so, like I kind of mentioned on the last podcast and the last trip report, you know, that you kind of felt I felt like this, like my chest was like opening up. Um, it's like a physical feeling too. It's it, like it literally feels like your chest is open up. One of the extreme effects I I felt on the B pluses was as I was laying back in my my chair and staring at the computer. Um, basically, right in the center of my chest, it just kind of felt like there was a like a black hole and like a, a miniature black hole and like everything was being like sucked into it like my whole chest area and it felt like there was nothing there at all uh, it didn't hurt it doesn't hurt or anything like that um see it's interesting gosh man people keep saying i i are, i've heard recently a few people not a lot but a few people say that they get euphoria on psilocybin and that just That just totally boggles my mind because I don't feel euphoric at all. And I think most people would agree. Most people would say, no, they don't feel euphoria on on the mushrooms. Mostly I feel like an ache, like my body aches. Like it feels like I've been working a hard day. I I think I said this before actually on one of the previous podcasts, but it feels like your body's aching. It kind of feels like you've worked really hard all day and you're tired and you laid down. And that's kind of what that feeling is. That's kind of like the feeling that usually your body gets. It's kind of like the body is kind of like hurting, but not not painful hurting. Just a real dull, I worked really hard all day. That's kind of usually the feeling. And and maybe that's a product of of how I usually am. You know, I do do work pretty hard all day. You You know, I don't have the most physically demanding job but you know i mean when i was a cop that was pretty physically demanding and uh and so anyways um so the b plus is the i i mentioned the visuals are are stronger especially stronger than treasure coast treasure coast the, the visuals so low but anyways b plus better better visuals um also b plus gives you this feeling of like space um, like think of like Space Oddity by uh, David Bowie or uh, Rocket Man by Elton John. Um, B plus reminds you of that. It's just like outer space, you know, like stars, nebulas. You get a lot of those kind of feelings on um, on B pluses, and it it might help the fact that you know usually when I'm on B pluses, the kind of music I end up looking for on YouTube does kind of relate to space type you know stuff um okay and so uh golden teacher golden teacher is like the classic one everybody don't you know like the majority of people take golden teachers and usually because because they are kind of light you know uh in like how you feel like they they don't they don't uh they don't have a, a hard come up or anything like that which uh there's another one that eventually we'll get to that uh, that has a pretty hard come up. But anyways, so Golden Teachers, um, one of the biggest effects I feel on Golden Teachers is the time effects. Like those are so massive on, on the Golden Teachers. I mean, I told you about on that last podcast, right, my, my sixth trip is where time froze. You know, I felt like I died and time froze and I was stuck in time and And so I get a lot of those often on Golden Teachers. Quite often, um, like me and the girl will be sitting in the room and um, and when we're both on Golden Teachers, those those trips last forever. Even though it's only it's only four hours in real time, obviously, but uh, but to us, it feels like we're there for just ages i mean you you just you can't even describe how long it feels like you're actually there time completely can break down on mushrooms and it can on on other ones too but it seems to be a consistent effect on um all these effects do they you can experience them on the other ones on the other different types but um they seem to be more prominent on certain ones like i said the treasure coast Emotions. If I had to say what their biggest effect is, is they affect your emotions. Uh, B pluses, uh, probably the biggest effect that they give is is probably the body effects. 
you know, for the uh, golden teacher, probably the biggest effect they give is the time effects. So, um, I said, the, well, I guess I might as well mention the other, the other three I've tried. So the other ones I've tried, I've tried Amazon, Mazatec, and there's this one called Something Coast, and it's from India. I just call them the India ones, because they're, they are my favorite, I just don't know the name, <laughs> name of them, but, um, uh, the Mazatecs give you a lot of spiritual type feelings and things like that. Um, very, uh, I don't know, lots of, lots of pinks, lots of pink colors on the Mazatecs. Um, as opposed to a lot of the other ones, usually my predominant colors are like blue, blues and greens. I see a lot of blues and greens, especially on the B pluses, the golden teachers, I see a little bit of yellows on the golden teachers. Um, on the Amazons, it's mostly blue, lots of blues, lots of greens. Um, the Amazons are, are crazy cool. The, the Amazons have the lightest come up of all of them. But it takes you, pro the Amazons probably take you to a much higher peak than, say, the Golden Teachers do. So the, the ride is a little bit more, what'd you say? I don't know. It's a, it's a, it goes it go, just goes up at a different rate than the golden teachers do and so uh, but the Amazons have really really light 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 come up um, the the India ones I was telling you about the something coast it starts with a it starts with an M something coast and um, those ones their come up is like harsh and quick and it hits like a ton of bricks I mean when I take those ones, they are my favorite because their visuals are the strongest. Like, like the colors you see, like you see them with your eyes open. Like I'm when I, I'd be standing in my bedroom or something like that, and I'm looking at a wall. Like I can start to see the geometric patterns like starting to emerge, you know, like with my eyes open. So that's how that's how strong visually those ones are. Those India ones, and I'm taking the same dosage on all of them. You know, like usually I just take the five grams. You know, for a while I only took three point five grams on all of them, and 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 that's a great spot to be in. Um, that's a great place because you're still kind of ground grounded in reality, but you're it, it, it's kind of that good middle ground three point five for me. You probably got you know if you're gonna plan on taking them, you gotta find your your appropriate point and start with start low <laughs> start real low and slowly incrementally work your way up to to the five grams and and see where you're at and you know and maybe you maybe you want six grams i don't know so i i have done six grams and you know it's a good spot but um it's not much different than the five grams for me five grams seem to be the the good point um 3.5 is a is a very balanced point where rate and rate and reality and 2.5 uh you know the the effects are are good you know i'm seeing visuals and everything like that but uh but i'm definitely still in reality you know what i mean it's it, it's the difference between like looking through the window and then rolling down the window and then actually stepping out you know the, that that'd be the difference 2.5 to 3.5 to 5 you know on the 2.5 you're looking through the window you know you can you can see it over there but there's no interaction there's a window that separates you still you know and then 3.5 the windows rolled down so maybe you can get you know the breeze coming in or something like that you can smell the other side you know or maybe you know and it's more tangible there there's like a connection and then uh like five is like you're kind of like <laughs> you know hanging out the window or, or trying to climb out the window you know what i mean so I don't know. I hope that all made sense. <laughs> okay, so let's uh, let's get into the next chronological um, trip report here. So we're moving right along, and so at this point in time, I I have my my trip room set up, and I've got the majority of the stuff in it that I I'd either ordered or went around and bought and I had placed them where I want them to be so I, I've got a nice looking room I um I don't think at the time I had LED light bulbs eventually one of the things I do is I got LED light bulbs for the for the for the ceiling light but um 
ones that I can control on my phone and change the colors of. But mostly I would just turn off the light and I would use the light from my computer and um, some of my LED lights. Um, so um, music, I started really kind of like trying to find some good music and everything like that. And one, one thing I found out on this trip is how, the importance of music and how it can affect you while you're um, on the trips. And so uh, that, that's kind of the theme right here is, is what we're going to go over. Another thing real quick though is is my blanket. I had I had previously told you guys about my um, my tiger blanket. Well, the thing basically ended up taking on a life of its own as I would wear it in the trips. It would it would change its like shape <laughs> based on like how I'm, how far into the trip I am and like what you know where I'm at in the trip. Um, I would uh, I'd usually start sitting in my chair in front of the computer and I'd play my music and I'd have the blanket wrapped around me and because um, I, I always I always trip at night I trip after after the sun's gone down and you know um, so I'd have the blanket wrapped around me and and I'll often get up and and walk around a little stand up for a little bit and then I'll go lay down on the um, the little futon or whatever, whatever you want to call it, the couch. The, I'll, I'll go lay down on that and I'll take the blanket with me. And what happens is when I get up out of the chair, the blanket like doubles in size <laughs> and will start to move kind of on. Even though it's on me and I'm holding on to it, I'll just like as I'm walking around with it, it just becomes heavier and longer and it starts stretching across the room and everything. So the blanket um, has become like a really it's like a it's like a comfort item i guess for my trips uh it's it's really good it really like makes me uh like feel good and keeps me warm and yeah it's a it's a pretty awesome thing to have um so on on this trip uh, th that's how i started with the blanket and, and um i'm sitting in my my chair my computer chair and i'm staring at my computer and the music I ended up coming across, I think at first I tried to listen to, I tried to listen to some spacey stuff. Yeah, I was listening to some spacey stuff, and and some of it was just getting a little too weird. You know, I like the sounds and the way they were interacting with like the image on the screen. It was just a little too alien, and I was just feeling a little like, you know, this is a little too weird. It's a little too funky for me. I need to change it. I need to change it to something else, something a little more grounded. And I ended up coming across, um, I'm a big movie buff. I'm like a huge, like that's what I went to college for was movies and theater. And um, I ended up coming across the Blade Runner soundtrack. And specifically I came across the, um, the it's like the sad jazz song that plays. Uh, let me see if I can look it up real quick. Um, let's see, Blade. Um, yeah, the the it's called Blade Runner Blues, and you can find a YouTube video of it where it's just like it plays for like one hour. Um, oh, there's also an eight-hour one, and it has like the rain in the background. Um, it's a man. It's a great little uh, like soundtrack. It, it repeats itself. Um, so that gets annoying after a while. And the mushrooms, you start to notice things like that, like repeating sounds. Um, but it just, when when I started to play it this time on this trip, um, this is the first time I found it. Um, but I started to play it and just, man, was it like the most, I don't know, just, I guess it's a surreal type feeling where you just, you feel like you're really there in like a rainy, cold, you know, New York City and I've got my blanket wrapped around me and the blanket's keeping me warm and I can hear the sound of the rain and it just transports you right into that, like that scene. And uh, it's like the picture of, of Deckard looking over his balcony and uh, looking down at the streets below, this cyberpunk city, this futuristic city and, and you just totally get into that feeling. And it's just, it's real, 
like just sad jazzy blues you know and you're just like just getting really really into it and um I remember just sitting there in the chair and just like really, really feeling the music. Um, so since I only played the one hour um, music, it finished. And when it finished, I was a little too like into it to actually like change whatever it was going to change to next, the music on the YouTube. So it just went to the next song. And the next thing it went to was just some just some generic like Memphis blues um, like playlist and um, when it started playing the sounds were just so incredibly crisp and clear and just um, the feeling you could really really feel especially there was like just a few guitar players that like you could really feel that they were putting some emotion into that damn music, man. And you could, I mean, you just felt every part of the blues, like just like that, that sound is it's just like ringing out at you. And, um, and so, so this is a pretty crazy one. This is, once again, this was still prior to me, like, closing my eyes for long stretches of time mostly in, in during these times I close my eyes for you know m you know maybe at most a half an hour you know I, I wouldn't sit the whole trip with my eyes closed now um, now my more recent trips that's that's what I do and eventually I learned to like balance that out because because uh, there is a lot to see with your eyes closed but there's there's also a lot of fun things to do with your eyes open there's a lot of things I still haven't done that I want to do. I, I still want to watch, like, a couple movies I think would be really, really interesting. Like, um, what is it, the the Batman, um, the Dark Knight cartoons one where it's it's the Frank Miller, um, where he fights Superman. Um, I'd really, really love to watch that, like, like probably on 3.5 grams because I already find the movie incredibly... Um, incredibly stimulating mentally um if you if you kind of get what the what they were trying to um i don't know just the, the feelings that they were trying to get across in that story and so if you um i imagine that if i watched it on on 3.5 grams i imagine i could get a lot out of it so there's a couple things like that that i still want to do you know um but anyways um to get back to it on the trip here this this trip this musical trip right here where i listened to all the blues and everything it really really showed me the power of what the music can do and after this point in time i actually started to put together a playlist of like songs that i wanted to hear while um tripping um, that I thought would have like some sort of like significant meaning or something like that or um, a lot of a, a lot of songs that you're used to hearing on the radio um, they sound really good on when you're on mushrooms but, the, but they're still grounded and so they kind of um, they kind of just pull you back into reality and everything like that if you if you really want to go deep it's better to listen to something without lyrics it's better to listen to some something with a little bit more feeling and emotion into it and and that and that's how you get further you know I get the feeling if I was to listen to like um if I was just to listen to like some Eagles music or something like that I'd, I'd probably get a lot out of it but I, I probably wouldn't be able to um disconnect completely from reality um I'd still be you know in my room listening to that music and the music might sound amazing and everything like that but um you know it's not gonna transport you to another dimension <laughs> so um i'm getting a little brave and, and emboldened on the on some of the words i'm using here i mean these things sound so fucking crazy i mean excuse my language there it's like these it's so hard to describe some of some of what you feel and what you see and what you experience on the mushrooms. Some of it becomes so difficult to explain. It, it, language is an incredible barrier, you know, to the to 
the psychedelic experience and trying to share it, you know, I mean, I guess that's what I'm trying to do on this podcast is I'm trying to find the best possible way and the best explanations I can give for the experiences that I had. Now, so on that, um, on, on that trip, the, we're going to call it the Blade Runner trip now, I guess, or the music trip, um, on that one, the blues trip, you could call it as well. Um, on that one, I, I'm pretty sure I took B pluses. Um, so, and that might have contributed to the fact that I was feeling a bunch of alien stuff um, before switching over to the the Blade Runner soundtrack. Um, I think at that point in time, I was just on a kick where I was just taking the B pluses. Um, now I don't take the B pluses at all anymore, just because I find the other ones better. Um, but anyways. Uh, the very next trip after that, I only have a, I'm going to add this one on to this episode just because it's very short. Um, I had, I was once again listening to some, some music. It might've been the Blade Runner soundtrack again. I, 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 for, I had a kick where I listened to that soundtrack a lot. I also do a kick, kicks where I listen to either Lord of the Rings music a lot, like the Lord of the Rings soundtrack. Which some of it is really, really good, especially if you find like the themed ones on YouTube. You can find ones where they're just playing like the Misty Mountain music over and over again. That one's incredibly, incredibly like transportive. You know, you, you transport basically to the top of a mountain. I mean, just the sounds are so, so deep and good. Um, anyways, and then I also listen, like, there's a. Um, Oh, the the Elder Scrolls, the video games, the Morrowind soundtrack and the Skyrim soundtrack and the Oblivion soundtrack. Those soundtracks are also really, really good. And that might be a, a nostalgic thing from my past because the games were really instrument in me growing up. Like the Morrowind game was, um, was one of the, it was basically the first RPG I ever played and it was incredible and I just, I have such fond memories of it. So I think that really helps when I listen to that one. Um, so, um, the, on the next trip, I was, I was listening to something similar, something tangible. I wasn't listening to just some like lo-fi, you know, something I hadn't heard before. I was listening to something tangible, but I remember laying, I was laying in my chair. I was in my chair. Yeah. In front of the computer blanket wrapped around me and everything. And what I saw was, and Oh man, I just remembered something. I'll get to it in a second here. I was laying in my chair and I saw a red cloud kind of start to appear like this really, really faint red cloud. And what happened was is these red like tentacles or tendrils came out of the cloud and they were floating above me. It was like floating above my head and my chest and and the the tentacle the tentacles the red tentacles like came down over my chest and then came up and like pierced through my neck and once again like none of these things hurt or anything like it's not painful it's not a painful experience but this but as it comes up and it and it starts to these tentacles or these these spikes or whatever they are as they're piercing through my neck and everything it's it's kind of just a release you just kind of like go with it oh this is this is huge to avoid a um like a bad trip it's just kind of go with it you know just kind of go with the, whatever's happening especially with the physical stuff you know like the biggest thing that gets you into a bad trip is you having bad thoughts you know so it, as long as you're kind of blank minded and kind of just going with the experience it's a really easy way to avoid a bad trip you know just kind of just go with the flow um i know that sounds kind of bad because um my theory is that you are on you know uh, we're, we're jumping ahead again here i can't keep these things straight um my theory on on what's actually happening is is it's almost like you're entering into the spirit realm, right? And and the spirit realm, I, I believe you would be able to make contact with things like demons or 
are maybe malevolent forces. You know, these words don't have the same meaning anymore. You know, it's like you sit there and you say a demon. What's a demon? You know, um, it, man, it's like maybe the old people in the past, what they called a demon is, is more in line to what today we would just call like a malevolent spirit or something like that, or, or an entity that just doesn't have your best interest at heart, you know? Um, or maybe a, a trickster entity or something like that, you know? Uh, like Joe Rogan apparently <laughs> comes in contact with them quite often. And I've heard other trip reports where people come in contact with entities like that and whatnot. Sorry, this, this podcast is going way off and it's not as grounded as, as the previous ones have been. Um, but I think I need to start evolving some of these things and start introducing you guys to some of these things as I'm continuing to go through these trips because they're going to continue to be get uh, more and more extreme. Basically, every trip going forward, it's just like a new thing emerges that gets me a little bit further along the path of this... Um, I don't know what you you know like like I said I think it's incredibly archetypical, it's very hero's journey esque like, so each one it kind of as it brings you closer and closer in the direction you feel something stronger and stronger, and uh, eventually accumulates and comes to a point and yeah the the very last trip I had was absolutely the most incredible thing in my life and it's what got me to start doing these podcasts so um anyway so that's that's those two trips um the blade runner blues one showed me the importance of music and that can't be understated you know you guys got to be careful what music you choose and you pick and you know when you choose something that you think is going to facilitate your your trip and what you're trying to do when you when you take your trip and then so and um you gotta be careful if you're gonna be listening to some really, really sad music. Expect to be sad, and you know, <laughs> if you uh, if you revel in that kind of stuff and, and feeling different types of emotions, um, that's how it was for me. When the blues music, when I'm listening to some sad music, um, it gets me sad. But it's a good kind of sad, you know. It's like, oh, I'm feeling something like really powerful. You know what I mean? I'm feeling a really powerful emotion, and it feels. Even though it's a sad emotion, it feels really good. So, um, so if you can do that, if you can, if, if you can appropriately choose your music and appropriately put yourself in the right position, you know, set and setting. I'm gonna make a bonus um, episode here in a in a minute, and I'm gonna I'm gonna go over how to set up your trip room, you know, because uh, set and setting is incredibly important. So, yeah, I think we'll leave it off with that. Um, only got 14 more to go. <laughs> no. Um, and then eventually I do want to, um, one of the things I want to do with the podcast, I do want to do some interviews and everything. I do want to get the girl on here and I want to, um, see if she has anything to say about her experiences. So, um, thanks everybody for listening. Uh, if you guys made it this far, um, on YouTube, like, comment, subscribe, anything to help out the algorithm, that'd be great. Um, thanks everybody for listening. Have a nice day.